back to a new episode of All the Mod 6. I hope you're doing okay. Um, between episodes, I've upgraded my jetpack massively. Uh, if we go on this, I read it from, uh, we're on copper, so to bronze and then to electrum. And then it's staying at that because uh, the diamond team needs a diamond ring from angel rings. And I don't remember how to make that, I can't remember. Um, yeah, you need elytra, which we haven't got yet, so yeah. Um, but, today's going to be a good episode. What we're going to get done is a, a good bit of stuff, right? So if we look on this, I just want to see what sort of armor value this has for, right? So it's not great. Um, we're going to start making some all the modium armor. All the modium armor. And you may be thinking, wow, that's uh, that's uh, pretty OP. It is. Um, and last episode, we better had any of the modium. But in between episodes, we've done... Oh, we have now two sort of... Oh, well... <laughs> In the in between episodes, we've done a load of mining, um, so we have loads of all the modium. We have 106 ingots plus. We have like 30 or 40 out here. Um, yeah, th another 30. So loads more stuff out here. And this is out of oxygen. Huh? That's really weird. Are you not? No power. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've run out of power. Like, that's that's another thing. We've run out of power on our base. Uh, we are completely dead because uh, obviously this backpack's trying to get charged up right so if i leave in my inventory this will start actually doing stuff my base will start running um but yeah if i if, if i don't it, 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 we have problems right so I, mean, I can let my battery drain into that whatever uh but yeah um power problems so we're gonna get that fixed today but i want to start by making all the modium armor so at least we're op so we can't be killed right because uh, that'll be cool and then we can fight the wither and do lots of things like that and we'll just it'll just be a better, better time so uh we're gonna want a helmet a uh, jetpack um a helmet sorry chest plate and a uh, leggings so let's get that done so there is a helmet beautiful uh there is a chest plate beautiful and there is some leggings well, there we go. Beautiful. We are now pretty OP. We're pretty strong at this point. Um, yeah, we could, um, yeah, we're, 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 we're pretty tough, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. We are pretty, uh, I wouldn't say unkillable, but, uh, we're, we're pretty tough anyway. Um, so I want to also make, um, a, um, thingy sword, right? I want to make a sword because a sword will be sick. Um, so, uh, if we get some more, all the modium, I believe you just need two of these and a stick, right? Yes. Uh, and then stick. Boom. And that'll make an all the modium sword. And if we look at this, uh, the attack damage is 66. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. he's. Uh, this is going to be a pretty sick sword for us. We're no longer going to use the flux sword as our weapon because, hey, we, we've got an all the modium sword now. We can basically kick butt. We are pretty, pretty tough at this point. We are pretty strong. Uh, we take off that. We're still pretty strong. But, um, you know, I will obviously put that off if, on if we're fighting stuff and things like that. But there you go. Pretty tough, pretty unkillable, cool. So I also wanted to get um, enchanting of this gear. Um, whether we're going to get to that today, I'm not really sure. How much leather do we have? Uh, yeah, we can get to that today, why not? Uh, let's make some bookshelves. I don't even know how many bookshelves you need. I might go and look that up. Okay, so welcome back. So I think we need 15 bookshelves in order to obtain the uh, the top enchants. At least that's what uh, the internet says, right? So let's get a... Uh, we'll do a stack of paper. We'll do two stacks of it, because we have so much sugar cane, it's literally ridiculous. Um, and then we're going to need um, three. Uh, we're going to need, what, three into, and then there's 15 of them, 45 books? Yeah, so a decent amount of books. We might not even have that much leather. Oh, wow, we just don't have enough paper. That's fine, we can make more paper. There you go. There's another load of that. And then we need, what, three more of these? Done, 45 books. Perfect. And if we go to bookshelf... Um, I don't think we have very many planks left, uh, is the only thing. Uh, so if we go like that. I don't know how many planks we're going to need, so I'll just make four stacks and let's see if that's enough. Fifteen. Perfect! We got fifteen! Right, okay, let's make an enchantment table. Uh, enchanting table. Uh, yeah, this is what we want. Um, I think, though, um, Apotheosis as an enchantment table. Uh, oh, that's cool. Disenchanter. That's very cool. Um, enchant Enchanter's Tower. Uh, enchantment Mover. Quarry Plus. Uh, no, I think we'll just go to the normal enchantment table. I think that's all we need, isn't it? Uh, we need one more book. It's fine. That's easy to do. And there's an enchanting table. Uh, for the moment, I think we'll just chuck this in the middle of our base. What I am going to do, because if we go and shift F7, I don't know why, but there's no... Yeah, we've got loads of stuff in here. Our, our, also, our AE system is... Uh, our RE, RS. RS system is full as well. Um, so that's a thing. So we need to get that prepared but for the moment i'm going to do the enchanting downstairs because i've got anywhere set up upstairs to do it 
Uh, so if we go down. Uh, what is the thing from vanilla Minecraft that can remove enchants? Isn't it called a grindstone? I believe it's this, isn't it? And that can remove enchants and give you your XP back or something. I think it's that, isn't it? We will see. Oh, look. I know from looking inside it. Uh, yeah, I think it is that. So that's cool. We'll use that. Uh, so let's go down into the uh, basement and just chuck our enchanting table like here. Yeah, just, uh, this is probably the, I don't think I've ever enchanted in, uh, Minecraft before, on my own, so this is, uh, this is a first for me, guys. <laughs> uh, let's just put that spell on there, and that should, in theory, let us get, um, level 30 enchants. It does, yes, we need lapis, that's fine, but yeah, we can get level 30 enchants. I don't know if I have any lapis. Ooh, lapis. I have nine. Wow, Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see how much we need to get a level 30 enchant. I think we're probably going to need a couple of stacks of it, right? So, life mending, which I don't really need life mending. Soul bound. Soul bound would be cool, but I don't think we're ever going to die with this on. Um, I really hope we get our XP back. Let's put, um, sword in first, because it's a bit difficult to get a, like, a bad sword, right? If we re-roll that. Vigilante, bane. So, is it always going to be the same? Yeah. Life leech. Um... I mean, life leech is cool. I don't know what vigilante does. What does this do? How do people, like, search enchants? Oh. Yeah, this is how they search. Yeah, okay. Vigilante increases damage dealt to illager mobs. Well, I don't really care about that. So, uh, bane of illagers, life leech. What do the numbers mean next to it? So, if we take that out. So, it literally just gives us life leech. So, we've literally got life leech 2 on this. Um... I mean, it's not great, is it? So if we take this out, we've got 78 levels. Okay, so we just, yeah, completely got it back again. Okay. Uh, fire protection, 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 rebounding. What does rebounding do? Melee, melee, melee attackers may find themselves much further away. Oh, okay, no, that's, no thanks. Oh, I put that in. put <laughs> my chest plate in. Uh, cavalier, leech, ender disruption. We don't need that. Caval leech, uh, cavalier... What the hell does Cavalier do? Cavalier. Um, Cavalier increases damage while riding something. No, really, no, don't really care about that. And then Leech. I take you Leech Health. I mean, that's quite cool. Restores health when a mob is killed. That's pretty cool, to be fair. Like, that's not bad. So we got Leech 4, Life Leech 3, and Soulbound. I mean, to be fair, that's a pretty good sword, like, so, I mean, if we die, it means we can keep it, but then again, like, am I ever gonna, am I ever gonna need that, do you know what I mean, like, I don't think so. Let's re-roll it and see what we get again. Uh, Riders Bane, Vorpal, Tombstone, what does Vorpal do again? Nothing good, I don't think. Uh, randomly performs power attacks and decapitations, oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Knockback 3, Outlaw 4, Sweeping Edge 5, and Vorpal. Right. That's... Uh, I mean, Knockback... Mm. I'm not sure about Knockback. Out, outlaw. What does Outlaw do? Increases damage dealt to villager mobs. Mm. Well, we're not going to be killing villagers that much, are we? Um, sweeping Edge 5. Increases the damage of sweeping attacks. Okay. Uh, and Vorpal is the one that we just got. I mean, that's pretty, that's a pretty, I think that, to be fair, that is a pretty good sword. Like, that will be pretty good. Yeah, let's, let's leave that as it is. Let's try and, uh, enchant this with something good. Uh, Projector, ooh, Protection 6. Projector, Protection 6. Let's just do Protection 6. Range 5 and Projectors, Project, Protection 6. What does Berserker's Fury give us? So, um, no idea what that gives us. But Range 5, what the hell does that give us? Range. Travel anchors. Oh, so this means we can use, like, travel anchors. Um. I mean. That's okay. It's not great. It's okay. Let's see if we can get anything better. Oh, so we run out of lapis now. Okay, I might go and get some more lapis, and I'll be back in a second, guys. Okay, so welcome back, guys. Um, I think we've probably got enough lapis. We've got, like, and I killed a slime outside quickly. Let me just get rid of him. I also... I'm going to re-roll the enchants, <coughs> excuse me guys, on here, because I want fortune, um, so we can see if we can get that, um, but yeah, uh, let's get rid of all this lapis, so I don't think I have any more in here, uh, I do, there you go, there's eight more, lapis is a little, okay, cool, 
Let's uh, let's get rid of all of this, and this should get us <laughs> way enough lapis for what we need. Probably too much, right? But that's fine. Um, I also went and uh, chucked some coal in our steam dynamos or our um, thingy dynamos downstairs. It's the first time we've used them in absolutely ages, but we have got literally no power. So uh, yeah, I needed. Uh, I just need a quick fix of power. So chucked them in there, and uh, that'll be fine. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's perfect. Look, <laughs> perfect. Uh, so if we go size three by three, um, and we put that guy back, and we go on fortune. There we go. Done. Mission complete. Uh, an absolute ton of lapis is what we got. <laughs> a literal ridiculous man, and probably quite a lot of XP as well. So, yeah. Worked wonders. Level 80. Uh, so, let's go down and carry on doing the enchants, see if we can get some better stuff. So, I want to get fortune on my sword. I might do some uh, enchants and come back to you guys when I've got good ones, so I'll see you in a little bit. I thought I'd come back quickly, because I'm going to actually make the, uh, the disenchanter from um, Cyclic, um, because... If I get some really cool enchants, I want to be able to pull them off and, like, then I can see if I can put them on, in, like, later on with an anvil or something. Um, so, yeah, let's see if we can do that. Did I just make the enchantment table already? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, there's the enchantment table. Uh, and there's the disenchanting table. Uh, and in theory, we need books for this. Uh, so let's get a few of them. I don't know how many we can make. 16. That's perfect. Uh, let's run downstairs. Uh, but the reason why is because I just got uh, beheading on here, which is... And Soulbound, which are both really, really cool. They're not what I want, but they're both very cool. So he needs RF. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so if we uh, just break him quickly and put him here, he should work here, right? Uh, yeah, 5,200, 9,200, okay. I mean, the only problem is, obviously, he's going to take a, a, lot, a big buffer, but hey-ho, that's, that's what we're doing anyway. That's what we've got to do. Uh, so would it pull the enchants off there? Oh, wait, requires redstone. Always on. Oh, damn, it does. It just yanks them off. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, that's sick. Um, okay. Cool. Um, what can we do with all these books again? I think pretty sure we can, like, recycle books to get um, points off them, can't we? Uh, but those are quite cool books. So I'm going to go back to uh, uh, thingying, and I'll see you guys in a bit. And on the next roll, I got sharpness 5. Result. I want both of those, but I'm going to re-roll it because I want to uh, thingy it. So, yeah. See you in a bit. And look at that. Looting 3. That is what I want. Soulbound and looting. That is a wicked sword. Um, so yeah, let's go into here. Chuck him in there. Uh, that's not what we want. We want an anvil, don't we? We do want an anvil. If we go uh, anvil, um, let's get... Uh, does it really matter? Let's just get a normal anvil. Three blocks of iron. That is fine. And that. Beautiful. Now, I'm hoping I can put the other enchants on there. If I can't, I'm not going to be too upset because it's super powerful even without... Um, even without, uh, like, sharpness, but I would like to put sharpness on there, right? Uh, so, sharpness 5. We can. Five levels, and we can chuck sharpness 5 on our all the modium sword. Yes, please. It's also got soul bound, which is amazing. If we do happen to die, we'll get it back, which is nice. Um, I'm going to put uh, sh this on there. I would like to put the heading on there. There we go. Beautiful. Um, can we put life leech on there? Okay. And then, can we put uh, sweeping edge? We can. Mate, this now is my dream sword. Look at that. Soulbound, Looting 3, Sharpness 5, Beheading 4, Life Leech 3, and Sweeping Edge 3. Amazing. That is a is a beast sword. That's not getting rerun. That's amazing. I'll see you guys in a second. One roll, and I think we basically got the dream chest plate. Look, I'm breaking 5, Protection 5, Fire Protection 5. The only thing we could want is Projectile Protection. Yeah, that's mad. Okay, welcome back everybody. It took a while, but we are fully kitted out. I don't think we're going to need this anymore, because we've got fire protection on our uh, on all our gear. Uh, we've got loads of spare books, because obviously I disenchanted a load, and then, you know, add them on, and all that kind of things. So we've got loads of spare books. Uh, we don't need any of them. Bye-bye. Uh, but yeah, so let's go through. So we've got a sword, obviously. We've got uh, Soulbound, Looting 3, Sharpness 5, Beheading 4, uh... Life Leech 3 and Sweeping Edge 3. Helmet's got Feather Falling 5, Soul Bound, Mana Boost 3, Gourmand, which gives you more Saturation and Hunger, which is sick. Protection 6, Insight 5, and Respiration 4. Uh, Insight gives you more experience, and obviously Respiration, Breathe Underwater. Soul Bound, Protection 5, well, you can read them all. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, but yeah. Pretty sick. Pretty flipping sick. We are, basically, I, I would hesitate to say unkillable, right? Now, the next thing I wanted to do is get, um, I wanted to get some crafting done, right? With, uh, Refined Storage. Um... 
Now, we are going to be moving the base soon, um, so that is a thing, uh, but um, we might, I don't know whether to leave this all last thing, I think I'm just going to get it done now, because then I can uh, I can do crafts off camera, so I want to show you how to do it, right? So, crafters, um, there is other crafters for, uh, from uh, extra storage, right, and they, is, they are a lot better, like, a hell of a lot better. Um, so, the normal crafter from refined storage, the base one you normally make is, uh, apparently they come in different colours now, well that's mental, uh, it's this one, right, so it's that, it's that, it's that, uh, crafting recipe, I think it has nine slots, uh, so if we make it, I can show you how many slots it has, so if we go on to you, yeah, we don't have enough quartz of its iron, we don't have enough of a lot of things, that's fine, um, so we need the, uh, machine casing, which is pretty easy to make, there we go, uh, then we need an advanced, one, we want to need one of these, what's the thing we're missing? Uh, we're missing silicon, okay, so we need, uh, quartz, oops, if I can type properly, quartz, we were going to do a quarry, I know a lot of you probably, um, saw me or heard me say we were going to do a quarry, uh, the reason why we're not, um, is because a lot of, uh, I, I was talking to the guys on Discord, uh, um, and, uh, they said, you know, what's the point of doing a quarry when you've got bees in this pack who, that can produce everything, and they've got a point, there's no, not really much point in doing a quarry, um, when it's just loads of ex effort when bees are much easier to do, so we're gonna get into bees for sure, and that'll give us, uh, automated resource production, which would be great, um, so yeah, um, so that's something we're gonna get into, and I think that'll really help us, um, so, you know, that's, that's a thing. Also, control backspace, um, thanks to one of the guys on the chat, I'm really sorry, I'm probably gonna forget your name, I will find it for you, give me a second, I'll find your name. So the person was called Glitch for Higher G. So thank you very much, Glitch for Higher G, for telling me I can do Control Backspace. That is super useful, and uh, I wish I'd have known it before. So yeah, thank you very much for letting me know how to do that. That's awesome. Um, so um, crafters, crafters, crafters. This guy. I want to bookmark you, and then we're going to do a. Uh, we can probably transform him into an Iron Crafter. I don't know if we'll do it straight away, but um, we we, we, may, we may do it straight away. I'm not sure. Uh, if we go Crafter Iron, there you go. Uh, this, because this guy can hold 27 patterns, um, it speeds the same, but it holds 27 patterns, which is kind of beastly. Uh, so, a construction core. We're going to want one of you, right? And that's smelted up. Um, then we're going to want, and obviously it goes with other stuff, but that stuff we can bit put in the inventory, right? But there you go, no worries. So, advanced process, I think it's two of them, right? Yeah, so two of these things. There we go. Uh, and then we're going to want one destruction core, which is one of these things. There you go. And those all just need smelting. Um, and then, uh, we'll be good. It was two basics, wasn't it? Yeah, easy, easy go. There we go. Two of them. Uh, let's chuck in another one of these. We can get some more quartz. Um, yeah, then we should be good. Cool. Let's take all that out. Chuck that all in. Bye, 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 bye. Uh, and then go crafter. So we want a construction core. Beautiful. We want a destruction core. Um, beautiful. So it can construct and then destruct items. Sick. And then we're going to want, uh, well, we've got everything else. Boom. There's a crafter. So if we look inside this guy, uh, we put him down, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine slots for patterns, right? Not too shabby, not great, but not too shabby. Uh, whereas an iron crafter has 27 slots for patterns. A lot more. That is a lot more. So we're definitely going to make an iron crafter because why would you not? Why would you not? So we need two of these guys. Um, it's simply done with this. Let's take that out and chuck that in. Then we can chuck this in afterwards again. Boom. At least we're not going to worry for silicon anymore. That's good. Uh, and then Iron Crafter, boom. Super easy to make. I'm surprised it wasn't harder to make because if you think about it, that should be harder to make, right? Because it's just, uh, that's a more difficult pattern. I might not put him down because uh, we're going to move soon on uh, on a stream. So um, yeah, I'm going to move the whole base. There's not really much point in putting him down, right? Uh, let's chuck him in there. How are these guys doing for, for slots? Oh, quite. Shall we, shall we make, teach you how to make a thingy? Mm, no, not yet. Um... <laughs> Uh, so what else did I want to do? Uh, we got the crafters done, that's perfect. Um, I was gonna do something else, wasn't I? Um, I'm not really sure what else. Oh yeah, power. Power, 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 power. So, I'm gonna go with wind energy. And at the moment, these wind turbines aren't gonna be super strong. Uh, they're not gonna be super great, right? Because we're not very high up. Uh, apparently they're not called that. They're called wind generators. Uh, yeah, because we're not very high up. But when we're on the mountains at our new base, we'll be really high up. So, um, these will be much, much more efficient. So, I'm probably going to make th four of them, I think. If we can make four of them, we should be able to make four of them. Um, so, yeah, we're going to need, obviously, four of these guys, which is four energy tablets. One, two, three, and four. Just enough. Great. Uh, I'd imagine we're going to need more of those, um... 
yeah, look, we're going to need more energy tablets here. Uh, so that's fine. Can we just do this quickly? We don't have any gold. Okay, that's fine. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to uh, get the rest of the uh, these guys prepped, uh, the infused alloys and uh, this, and I'll be back to you guys in a second. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I actually just looked inside our system, and we have, and I had like 54 of these in our um, metallurgic infuser. So I definitely don't need to make more of them, that's for sure. Uh, so it requires two of these each, two more. So we're going to need another eight energy tablets. Well, I got more gold as well. Uh, four. Luckily, we had, um, I think we had about a stack in our, uh, from our crusher three times system, so that's not too bad. Uh, so there's eight more energy tablets, which is ridiculous. Um, and this should be four wind turbines. Two, three, and four. Beautiful. That is great. Now, I think we have a plug, don't we? Uh, don't we have a, a at flux? We do. We have uh, a flux point. Provides energy to adjacent blocks. Okay, so that removes it from the network. So we actually need to make a um, uh, the other one. Because we want to... Um, I'm going to stick these guys on the roof, but obviously the input is down here, right? We don't need to upgrade our cables yet, because these guys won't produce much at the moment anyway. Um, but we will later on. Uh, provides... Uh, so this one is... Receives energy from adjacent blocks. Adding it to the flux network. That's what we want. Perfect. So we need another one of you, which means we need another eye of ender. Which is fine. That is easy to make. There we go. Beautiful. Um, and what was that other recipe, quickly? Oh, okay. It's like a Mr. Gladcroft one. So we want one of you... And then we can do that, right? And this is uh, receives energy from adjacent blocks. Uh, yes, perfect. So we need to do one of you. Means we're probably going to need more flux points, right? Yep. <laughs> which means another eye vendor. Yep, which means another blaze thing. Okay, uh, blaze. Uh, let's get two of them chucked in the crusher. Um, and given me my stuff. Give me my stuff. There we go. Do your thing, do your thing. Basic control thingies, more of them. Good, good, good. Making crafting bulks a little bit easier. Uh, let's get out that. And we can chuck that back in once this is done. There you go. Beautiful. Let's blaze. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Um, what were we making again? Uh, we were making flux thingies, weren't we? Uh, control thingy, flux. This guy. Um, yeah, received energy from adjacent blocks. Cool. So we need to make one of you. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, 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 no. We need to make one of you. Perfect. Then we need to make more of these guys. Perfect. Then we need to make that. There we go. Okay. And we need um power, right? So I think they're called universal cables. Uh, okay. They are. I think are they in our backpack? Yes, they are. We're gonna need more of these though. Uh, so recipe. We have so much steel now. I'm just gonna make a few of them, and then we're gonna go on our roof. Okay, so let's go on the roof. Um, so if I get my backpack on, I can actually fly. Yep, there we go. Cool. Uh, so, I mean, it doesn't really matter where you put these at the moment. Um, it would look better if they were on the corner, but for power cable usage, we're just going to put them like this. And they take up quite a lot of room. But that's fine. Look at that. There we go. So we're leaving three between them. And one, two, three. Boom. Beautiful. So these guys are all going to connect to each other. They're going to chuck power like this. If we go and right-click on them, we should they should uh, tell us. So they're producing... Um, is that 384 every, 384 every year tick? Really? Is that how much they're producing? Oh, that's mad. Or is it 59.63 every year tick? I would have thought it would have been that. Because uh, if they're at the top, they can produce like 400 and something. But these guys are nowhere near the top. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's grab this guy. And we're going to go... Um, what networks have we got? Power out. So we're going to want power in. We're going to create a new network. Um, and we're going to go... Uh, uh, public. And we're going to go... Power in and we'll have it in blue there you go so this guy's going to be on power in right but obviously we're going to need um a actual like power in to go into the network so we need that other one we had in here uh flux and we can take that guy downstairs this is the one that receives power um now that's one that mm, which one are we going to need now we are going to need providing power yeah we are going to need providing power because he's Putting power in. So if we chuck this on, um, we could just put this on the side of our guy. We could do that. Um, we could put it like right here. Um, just break this guy. There we go. Uh, and if we put this like that, oosh, there we go. And then we go on the um, this guy and we go left is now a, an input, right? There you go. And then we go on to you and go in power in. He should now be um, chucking power in, into there, right? So if we go up to these guys, these guys shouldn't have their power inside them anymore. Yeah, there you go. They've been drained out. Good, good, good. So he's now getting a ton of power in. Lovely. Look at that. 
Beautiful. So now these guys are producing power for us, which is great. Um, our energy is going up now. We're getting a little bit more, which is nice. We're at 10 million. Not too shabby. I think we're going to call it an episode, guys. I think we've had a good one. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, do make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. We're totally kitted out now. It's been a it's been a banging episode. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. I will see you in the next one. Yeah, like I said, uh, hit the bell so you get notified when we go live so you can watch our live streams. We'll be building that house soon. Have a good one, guys. A peace out. Stay safe and see you later. Have a good 2021 as well because it's just gone... Well, I'm recording this on New Year's Day. So, yeah, have a good one. Bye-bye.